Good evening. We are walking Sanibel Beach near West Twin Inn on New Year's Eve. I wasn't gonna record till I found something. I found something. Another piece of sea glass. This is a nice frosted one that's green. Earlier I just found a bunch of browns, so green is a nice change of pace. That was pretty cool. Not as many people right here, so I'll slow down, walk a little slower, and try harder to find some shells around the dead fish because unfortunately there is a heck of a lot of fish. Well, there's a heck of a, a, heck of a lot of dead fish going on right here. Crab, there's a dead fish. Oh my god. This is the foot of a very huge whelk. I, I don't, oh, first auger, first auger of the trip. Look at that, thank you, honey. I just barely saw it. Look at what I just barely saw when I walked to you. That is a huge foot. Oh my God. That's, have you seen that? I know, because I was talking, I found a foot earlier, it was a lot smaller. These are pretty rare. I wish I had a whelk to show you. So, so a whelk is like, a, I don't know how to describe it, like a slug, I guess is the best way. And so to pull himself into a shell and protect himself, this is his, his hard foot. And anyway, Google it if you're curious how it works. You can all, you know, shells are easy to find. The actual foots, you don't see as much. So for me to find the foot like that, here. Let me, I'll show this as an example. So this is say a whelk. And so just pretend this is a lot smaller. This is the foot. So the creature in here, this is his bottom. He'll pull it in. So if someone's trying to attack him, he's all tight and hard on all sides, not just his fleshy, fleshy slugness for something to get him. That's not a bad whelk. We'll keep that one. So anyway, you don't see the foots as often. This is not a foot. This is just a muscle but they do have pretty insides. So, you know, you eat these, like, mussels attached to this, you know, in clusters on, on underneath the ocean. So yeah, I don't actually see mussels that much either. So this is definitely a trip of all kinds of new goodies. All kinds of new goodies. Robert just found awesome, very nice. A, whelk, a lightning whelk with some barnacles attached. Some people will pick off the barnacles with like a little metal pick, but I leave them on. I think it adds character to the show. Here is another sea urchin. That one's squished. So, lots of dead sea urchins. Lots of, I've been finding lots of cockles this trip. Like some people, you know, think that's a boring shell, but I like them. I like the collars. They have all kinds of different shades of tan. They look good in a shell garden. And I, I've, a couple people asked me to show my shell garden. I really need to. It's just I haven't got around to it because every time I'm ready to, we get a whole bunch of rain, and then my shell garden is just a wet mess. But I promise, 2021, I will get a shell garden video. what this is some kind of like bean pod don't know some kind of bone right there I don't keep bone I'll keep shark teeth but I won't keep bone I find dead fish said in my early video I repeat myself sorry but there's a red tide going on makes me cough makes my allergies twice as worse that's why you see all this dead fish and stuff because of the red tide
if the red tide gets too bad, you're not supposed to swim. But don't think they've issued a no swim warning yet. Conk. Another muscle. See, this one's attached. Wow. That is. Don't know what it was, but very pink and pretty. Someone's out on a boat today. an hour before sunset so trying to make it to sunset we're just gonna eat on our room tonight got some shrimp got some lobster I'm just gonna eat in our room look at that piece of driftwood you think we could fit that in our luggage <laughs> Yes? No, Robert's not impressed by driftwood. More dead fish. Gross. All right. Earlier I got a bunch of olives, but I haven't seen any olives yet. There's another piece of a sand dollar. Robert's checking the higher tide line where I'm checking this tide line. These are both high tide lines. It's just the tides, of course, don't always end at the same spot. That's why it's pretty important to check the tide charts. It is best to shell at low tide, but honestly, there's so many shells on the beach. You can find shells. Anytime. I just prefer low tide. Um, usually sometimes I'll find a shell pile and sit down. I'm not doing that today. With the red tide, I really don't want to stay in one spot too long. I'm just gonna walk up and down the beach. Let's see if this guy's dead. Nope, he's still alive. Let's throw him. Oh, there's my. As I get my feet wet. Did you find it though? Oh. He's alive. Oh, he's alive? Yes. What do you want me to do? I want you to toss him so I don't get my feet wet. I think Robert's gonna put him in the water. Thank you. Okay. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and we will see you later.